right guys so i'm now going to teach you two very very famous flamenco rhythm patterns on the piano and uh, yeah it's fitting to do it because the andalusian cadence is a very spanish inspired rhythm you'll find a lot of flamenco musicians playing it and even dance forms you know formed around this cadence right so i'm going to show you like an easy one and then we'll do like a nice flamenco rhythm so stay tuned we're going to learn some nice flamenco now so we are going to do the flamenco rhythm on pretty much the same chords of the andalusian cadence which are d minor one minor c major which is seven major b flat major which is six major and a major which is the five let's get cracking What's happening there? It's a nice syncopated rhythm between the two hands. Let me play it for you. So root chord, fifth chord, chord root chord, fifth chord, chord. Now the fifth. You could play the fifth either lower than the root, but more commonly you play it above the root. And what makes it more uh, catchy is I think make the left hand very legato. Um pa um pa ta um ta um ta ta. Um. The left hand is just ridiculously easy. Root and fifth of each chord. The right. And the right hand where does it hit? One e and a two e and a one and two. And three and four and however you look at it, you look at it with eighth notes, which I think will be easier. One and two and three and four and one and two and three, four and. And I'm trying to squeeze the last hit a little longer. I like this rhythm. Slowly, follow the notation. It will help you. You could also use this as a nice inversion practice by using the different triad shapes. Moving on to more of a flamenco guitar-like pattern. Let me play it for you first. So that doesn't that sound like someone's dundrata, like that flamenco thing, which I'm acting like I, I'm doing it, but it's very tough to do. You have to learn flamenco guitar to do that uh, authentic thing there. But I'm just trying to simulate it on the piano as best as possible. So how does that work? So let me break that down. Okay, one, tum pum, one e and a two, one e and This is your left. One e and a two e and a one and two. There we go. And and the right. What happened there? One and one one. So the and of the one one and one is kind of flammed, as we call it. One e and a one one e and a one e e. It's almost like a a quick triplet. So the only way I can explain it to to you would be to say and then we don't flamenco it. We just do it together. Then you break the chord. So flamenco first, and then a block. Block means the flam is not there. Flam block. Flam block. I'm going to say it as flam block. I don't think I'll ever say that again in a YouTube video. But flam block, pa pa, and then you break it. Flam block, break the chord from the bottom to the top. So there's four different right hand articulations, guys. Ta 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 
dum bow rat da dun dow flam block single broken so but it starts all starts at the end of the one the right hand comes in after the left hand start with the fifth in the left and then pam pam pa pam pa pum pam pam flamenco for all the four chords of the cadence now on the left hand you could either do or i can do 1 5 or 1 3 5 3 5 1 One very slowly now the whole Andalusian cadence using the flamenco pattern. That's as authentic as I can make it, but um, you need to listen to how flamenco guitarists play and get a correct vibe from them. to really bring out the personality so in this lesson we've looked at two flamenco styles over the most famous uh, spanish or uh, andalusian chord progression as we call it the andalusian cadence right again this is jason here from nathaniel thanks for watching cheers